and gentlemen, welcome to our first episode of the SB Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Mond, and we're joined here once again, once first episode of the SB Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Mond, and I'm joined here by James Birmingham. I just did a massive poo. So, today we had the greatest idea to start a podcast. Why? I don't know. So, we know that all of you fellas, we have an SF alum- alumni uh, a private story, but basically it's just become of you guys vaping. So, what we have decided... Nice, nice ghost, fella. So, we, what we have decided is how about, as a way to communicate together and just... Remember all of our great stories we had together. What about we made a podcast about teachers, stupid, funny, hilarious, awful memories about St. Brendan. And we can you can say whatever you want. Just no racial slurs. No um I mean you can you can trash other people. Trying to, get, trying to get monetization, you know? Yeah, don't make it too, don't make it too, um, don't make it too, like, bad, because... Graphic. You know, we want to get, we want to get both arguments on the same side, even if we, if we do have arguments, but, yeah. So, basically, we'll go on to the private story every week or so, and ask for a new guest, and... Pretty much whoever replies first will pretty much be able to become a guest on the show. Dab. Well, the, the weird thing is, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an open story. It's gonna not story. It's gonna be, hopefully it's gonna be on YouTube if I make an account in time. But um, I'll make an account tonight. So I I just wanna I just wanna let you guys know that we're starting a podcast. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully we can have some participation and all uh, of this. If no one fucking, if no one, oh sorry, can't say that. Yeah. If no one uh re- responds, then pretty much we're not gonna be able to do it. That sucks. Because it can't just be us. Pretty much we're gonna have different people telling different stories about different teachers' classes, maybe even classmates if we get into that deep. Juicy. Into that kind of juice. Um, yeah. So we kind of started this. I think it was like a month ago. I was over at James' house, and we this we just got a foam football from Dave and Buster's that James won, and we just threw it around and just t- started talking about you know classmates and how shit you guys were. Just kidding, you guys were all so, awesome. So a few of you were pretty shit, you know? No names, no names, but, you know, we have <coughs> our <coughs> He's gonna see it. No, he never he didn't mean that. Um, and we didn't think of that, we didn't think of this idea until today, where we were doing it again, and we were just talking about school, talking about our lives, and then we're like, hey, you know what would be cool? If we got all each other together, we just started a podcast, because why not? Just want to gather you guys together. Just talk about stuff. How about that? One day, maybe, if we get enough participation, we get a giant group chat call of all 33 of us and just argue. Oh, that would, oh, that would sound like fun. Except if only... If everyone had, like, a Skype. I, or, like, because I don't think... I don't think... How many... How many six people... Something? Six people can be on a house party? Yeah, so... If we just had like multiple phones, yeah, but I don't think that'll work. Um, so today we're probably gonna we're gonna talk about our least and most favorite projects over all of our eight years, nine years together, as a family, family quote unquote. Yeah. Well, I I'd say we've become pretty close over some of us nine years, some of us eight years. So we've pretty much seen each other. Most of our lives, every mm-hmm. every day. We've seen each other every single day, whether we like it or not. And we have to go, and we have to take the same classes every single week, every single day of our lives. 
And Ooh. sometimes it was cool. Sometimes I wanted to die. Back on topic. Me and Chris both kind of agree on what's the best, best. project. Mm-hmm. Um, that being the We Didn't Start the Fire project mm-hmm. in 8th grade. Because uh, I kind of liked it because it was just a different one. It wasn't the same kind of like Bullshit. essay type shit. You know? Mm-hmm. And plus, I had a pretty dang good group. Yeah. That was a fun group. I was in I was in James' group as well. So, but it's just, it's something different, like James said. I don't want the same essay, PowerPoint, although we did make a PowerPoint on it. But we did get to sing a song. Uh, we did to write our own song, and that was, like, different. That was, like, that was, mega that different. Was, that was fun. That was no. Really fun. Except least, some, least. Least favorite. Oh. Roller coasters. Fuck that. Bullshit. Fractal roller coasters. Freaking fractal roller coasters. Honestly, um, just I didn't even learn physics when we were doing the roller coasters. Honestly, the roller coasters. All, all we just did was just do a loop, and that's it. That's <laughs> all I had to do. Yeah. Just get a loop in it. We didn't have to think of oh how how much momentum did this boft go down a loop a hole and hopefully get a loop in. No, it's just make a steep hill. And then do a loop, and that's it. I, I kinda, didn't learn physics. I did like the idea of our board. It just turned out kind of poorly with the roller coaster aspect. Yeah. Our designs are Design pretty good. Design was good. Though. If uh, people are trying to block it out of their minds, which I like, don't. I, I don't. Blame I don't blame you because that was an awful project. Um, we had the World War Two one. Um, I wanted to call it a day at the beach. What was the What was the worst one? Do you think the worst one? I would say, design-wise, I would say that, um, I don't remember most of them. I remember the best one, design-wise, was the, um, Bella, Natalie W, because they had, like, yeah, seashells yeah, yeah. and stuff like that all over the place. I liked, um, that was, pretty was good. it, like, Luke and Mix one? The golden they, game. they, the, they worked hard that was, on that one. Th- that was pretty good Like, as with well. the Popsicle Golden Gate Bridge, that was mm-hmm. sick. That was pretty cool. Um... But yeah, I, honestly, I hated that. I skipped, I quote unquote skipped school because first of all, I didn't want to show up. I didn't want to show our abomination to all the classes, and second of all, I just, I just hated, hated, hated it. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to take it down. I just want to, oh shit, get rid of this as fast as we can. Like and um, we didn't even do biomes. Oh yeah, in like, seventh grade because we, we were like doing, doing, doing um. The, what was that? What was the? The, Something about it, music. Was it, was it MBR? Oh, it was the music. M- it was the music, yeah. What was the music essay? Um, the essay remember, thing? like, I'm pretty sure you have to just choose an artist and then research on them. Like, I'm pretty, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did Sam Smith. I did the Beatles. <laughs> and then I did Paul McCartney. No, no, no. I, no, it was a different one because I did Elvis. Oh, yeah. Because I, yeah. I didn't know that you could choose any artist. <laughs> so I chose Elvis because I was on the sheet. I would just have to say that Mrs. Dowdy was one of my least favorite teachers. Mrs. Dowdy didn't even teach us anything. She all I all I did was just. I'm in high school, just going off what my teacher. I've learned more. Like you guys can say whatever you want, but I think Mrs. Dowdy. Everyone says like, "Oh, Mrs. Dowdy prepared me so much." The only thing she prepared me for for the science fair was like procrastinating. And that's it. <laughs> Writing fake results. Yeah, I remember doing that in like sixth grade. I did that every year. In no, in seventh no, all of my all of my um, science fair science fair would no I, no science fair takes the cake. That was my least because we had to do that three times and that sucked. I hated doing that. I came up with the worst topics for each one. The moldy bread one. Well, I call it mold palooza because Catherine <laughs> came up with it. Uh, what was my first? Just one? all of mine had fake results. So did mine. Oh, the first one was, which is better, classical or jazz to listen to when you're, um, you just do bullshit. I did like which soccer ball travels farther when you kick it. What what happened? Like that that's just like such a flawed idea because it depends on how hard you kick it. No, like <laughs> it doesn't even matter what brand. Um, what was, wait, what was the? Oh, what do you expect? Classical music. Works better than jazz music. And you did like, and like, um, you were like their concentration, and you gave me a two. I, don't I, know, I had this, I had this bullshit way to measure the con- <laughs> concentration. It was called 
It was like something, like, it was something, it was like PP. It stands for PP. It was like, <laughs> pay attention points. And I, it was out of 100, and I measured them out of 100. And it yeah, was a made up right. way to measure. You gave me like 98 on the classical and a 2 on the jazz. Because <laughs> I was just like, because I made them all up. <laughs> um, what was my, the mold one was in 8th grade. Because then I, I no, 7th grade. Cause I did like in seventh grade. I did the most like generic topic. What? Like um, which brand of popcorn leaves the least amount of kernels <laughs> after you do it? That's not even I science. I know. <laughs> I don't even remember what my last one was. was it? My last one was uh, which chocolate? I called it popcorn classes. showdown. Oh my gosh! What was the um? Well, no. What was chocolate one? Was my least favorite one. Except it wasn't because I got to eat. I got to eat chocolate at the end. I got to eat chocolate at the end. That w- that was good. Except all my froze. I froze the chocolate for separate times, and then I messed up, and I'm like, oh shit. So I, I had to do it over again. And I, I, it was like one week before the due date that we were supposed to have all our things in. I'm like, oh god. I didn't mind the like the day before the due date. I know. Like my popcorn. I did all of it, and then I made up data, like you said. It was just, it was just a complete shit show. You know my least favorite, no, my least favorite part, well, what was my, le- writing, writing was my least favorite. I yeah, the that- writing part, because it was so many fucking, like, mm-hmm. topics on it. Why did it have to be graded for four separate, like, like, things? If you miss one, you go down each, uh, grade. Like, introduction, easy as hell, abstract, easy as hell experimental procedures is that it yeah all you have to do is just explain what you did yeah and, and, and then the detail. rest the rest were the, the hard part discussion i always got confused with the discussion i'm like you can it's just it's just restating your result that's it yeah i'm like do you not have eyes look at the fucking graph thank you <laughs> but honestly no, I think roller coaster is my second least favorite. Roller coaster is my least favorite, just because I got so pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I got pissed off. I well. fucking like. I re- Mrs. Dowdy. Was the, like, okay, the only good part about the roller coasters is Dowdy. that like Jack did like Glove World and, and he still, gave us one, the gloves. I took one glove. <laughs> I took the other one. I still have that shit. I lost mine. I think I forgot your house. No, you didn't. Oh well. I have my own. Well, I lost something at the house. Um, you left your earmuffs. Yeah, I know. You should give them back. No. Uh, what, what was the, I was, I was saying something. Oh yeah, Mrs. Dowdy was not a good teacher, like, teaching the students personally. Like, I'm in ninth grade dry. Like, I'm only, the only thing I'm learning is from what the teacher's teaching me. I don't know anything else. Yeah, because she doesn't, she doesn't go up to me and say, oh, are you, are you understanding this? Do you need help? Because what she would do is she would go up to a table and like, is everyone understanding it here? I'm like, yes. no, no, I don't really understand this one. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, can ta- one, can table, you, can, one table, you can you help him out? Can you help him out? Like, Bitch, you're the teacher. You I know. teach the class. You teach the fucking individuals. <laughs> and it was just, I was like, can you help me, please? I'm pretty sure, like, they won't understand it. They won't teach it well. Cause, you know, because it's if, one, if one person teaches you the wrong way, then then, get then it you're wrong. fucked. And then boom, you get it wrong on the test. It's like you Tests. get it you get it wrong on the test, and then yeah. Mrs. Dowdy like fucking gives you a fucking her, D, her and she's like, "Oh my god, how, I taught this so thoroughly. No, you how didn't. Do you, you didn't even cut. Co- I, I asked you how to do it, and, and you, you told said, the table. The table, do do it. The tests, the fucking tests. This is Stecker's test. My <laughs> highest grade ever." Was like in like eighth grade was a fucking like seventy. Same. It was like a seventy two. My least my lowest was legit like a, a sixteen. Mine was like a seventeen, I think. I know Devin Devin's was like a seven. Like a seven. <laughs> and everyone laughed and he I'm glad that he everyone laughed. Everyone laughed at Because <laughs> if he didn't, then that would be kinda sad. But Devin was just like cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he just doesn't care. I'm oh my god. Um and like People were complaining that they got 80s, and I was like, I'd kill to get an 80. <laughs> like, I remember Natalie P said something like, I got 97, oh my god, like, boy, I got a, I got a 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a you 50, almost I would doubled kill. me. I would you almost killed doubled me. that. And it's like, no, I actually wouldn't kill for that, because it's not that big of a deal anymore. I've learned yeah. more about physics than I did in my all 8th grade year than I did in my 
No, I have Half more. Of ninth grade. You don't. Know, yeah. And I hate physics. I hate my teacher. I don't hate my teacher. Just sometimes he teaches really weird. And he doesn't tell us that he has homework. He just posts on Schoology. And That's like, what my fucking history teacher does. And I fucking despise okay, We're talking him. about St. Brendan. Okay, Fuck just... Mr. Watson. Yeah. Um, we kind of, we went to favorite and least favorite. We went to, we signed to Mrs. Dowdy. Honestly, you can just talk. Mrs. Dowdy was okay as a person, but she was just not a very good teacher. She had a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hated learning chemistry. Chemistry was fucking... Did we even learn chemistry? Kinda. We learned about, like, atoms and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That was the fucking worst. Because I didn't understand, like, the circles around the atoms, and the... I knew. Yeah, she was, like, drawing fucking pictures with, like, E in the middle of the circle. Oh, I'm like, bitch, what, what's E? What does this mean? What like, because, this... like, that's how Mr. Mrs. Stecker drew Earth, like, a circle with mm-hmm. E in it. And I'm like, bitch, that's not Earth. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, I forgot what I was gonna say. Thanks. Um... What I was gonna say, crack, um, crack, looking crack, crack. Trying to blow her down on the swearing in general, to be honest. Yeah. Um. Just Mrs. Mrs. Dowdy, he was not a very good. She just that boy triggers me. She there's just so much to go, there's go, there's so much to go around. Cause honestly, she's just. <sighs> it's very hard to. Pass a test in Mrs. Dowdy's so class. It's so hard. Except, oh, like, Jesus everyone Christ. else gets, like, 90s. And I get, I'm over here with a fucking 30. Yeah. Like, like, over and over again. <laughs> my, high, no, my, my highest was, like, a 72. I was I'm so like, embarrassed oh. to show everyone else at my table yeah. because I had, like, table full of smart kids every, like, fucking <laughs> quarter. So I get the test, like, as she hands it to me, look at it, like, oh. comp- like already turn it it's over. Like, oh, what'd you, like, what'd you get, Chris? Oh, I, I just, I, I just I, got I'd a always 70. lie about oh, my I just grade. got a 70 or something. You know, whatever. It's like average. It's like, oh, oh 50. It's just not that on Chris. I got, like, consistent 30s. I know? feel like, I feel like Devin, I feel like, my, Devin Mrs. Got consistent I, feel like tens. Mrs., I feel like when Mrs. Dowdy gave Devin the test, it would feel, she would be like, hmm. You got it. He's probably not. Gonna I say feel it. like she and laughs, laughs at how dumb the students are. <laughs> Cause on it, her tests were just so long, and she would mark you off. Every for, like, science dumb, test was hard. Dumb points, like oh, you forgot to mention this one formula. Deduct ten points. Yeah. And it's like that's not worth ten points. And it's I, a I, formula. I, okay. Eighth grade was the, like, seventh and eighth grade were the two years that I just gave zero shits and didn't study for any mm-hmm. test. I barely ever. studied for any of them. Like, so science, I just want to draw with the knowledge I remember from in class. Mm-hmm. So I just, like, fail every every test. But I'd always turn in the homework. So since, like, fifth grade, second quarter, I've gotten the same science grade every, like, every <laughs> quarter, which is a C-. minus. Like... My good, a good grade in science back then was a C, like in the range of a C. Yeah, well, that's basic. In St. Brendan, I was a C student. I was, if I'm lucky, I would get a B or an A. But honestly, I was not yeah, a great yeah, yeah. student. I because like most of the teaching there is like clunky. It's kind of weird. Some of them teach really good. Like I know you don't like it, but Mr. Bolden, I love that boy. You know, he just hated me, so I hated him back. But I liked him. He was cool, and then he got, he got like, he went somewhere else. He left. He went to OLM. I'm pretty. I thought he went to Hoyning. I, I can't remember. Whatever. But I'd really love to just go to Mr. Bolton's house and just was, say hi. I was going, buddy. Remember me? I was in here. I was in here. He, is, he just like remember me? Shuts <laughs> the door. Um, I remember when he told us. By far, you guys were my favorite class. I'm like, oh. yeah, and we told that to Mrs. McHugh. He was like, oh. yeah, he called us his favorite class, and he goes, and she says, yeah, yeah he tells that to every class. Like my sister was like, oh, um, he told us that he told that to us too. I'm like, wow, I don't feel special. Just okay. I know we're we're, we're getting off topic, but another teacher I disliked was what's her name. Um, No, this I didn't really dislike her. She was just a bit of a meme, like Miss Della Hunty. She's yeah, kind of a meme. she's kind of a meme because she's a PE teacher, <laughs> but she was kind of fat. No. And our technology teacher was skinny. No, 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 no. And our tra- and our Spanish teacher was like yeah. Chinese. The back then, Senora went. No, Senora went. Senora fucking Wang. 
Senora. Fuck way. Senora. Okay, was... there was one year where I got, I think it was like third grade, where we had like this assignment to write down words five times, and I told I didn't do it, and she goes, "Is this too hard for you?" And I said yes, and I got the whole class to do it only three times instead of five. I felt so fucking cool. When um, the new the eighth grade Spanish teacher was awful. She would just write stuff on the board. It's like, can you please tell me what this means? I don't know what you're writing. You're just writing. I was... All she was writing was just bullshit, and then she started singing. I know. She was She was like obsessed with Zootopia or something. Yeah. She was like, let's sing a song, and then would people have to dress up as them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like... We have to dress up as fucking I want to be a furry. Let's be a furry. I call Nick. It's like... She, she was obsessed with that song. That one song by Try Shakira, everything. like Shakira, yeah, yeah. That song was. God, I didn't like that song. I watched you choke. All I do, and um, cause I was like the hot lunch person, so all yeah, I do, I would like, cause lunch was at like fucking like eleven fifty. No ten. No 10, 10, 45. 10, 45. Yeah. So I just wait till ten like thirty five. I just yeah, like draw like, pictures in my notebook and like pit I'm out. Then I, I fucking like I took my goddamn. Yeah, I was like absolute slow most walking. time. It's like. And I was just, I was just, I'm done handing them and out. There and there were bagels just, as well. I, just, I know, was good. So it was the best part. And I just look at the clock, I'm like, I got five minutes to go. God damn. I got five minutes to pass my shit out. <laughs> and then when you're Sweet. done, you look at the clock, and it's like, either, you're either lucky, and it's like, one to zero, like, minutes, and like, just in time. Or you like, five minutes left, you're like, God, I, I went too early, but at the same time, you want to get out of that class, because that class was the worst. Yeah. I hated that class. Normally, Honest, at the end, I would like, just, okay, there was this, um, we had one test that whole year, I forgot and I got a fucking real. 17 out of 50 on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, like, <laughs> I honestly just didn't listen in Spanish at all. I just draw pictures. I just, I just, I just played games, uh, like, in my notebook. I would play dots with Louisa, because she sat next to me. I would just play dots with her most of the time. I just draw, like, boxes. Like three D boxes and like the S's, I would just I do just, that the whole. And I sat next to the board, which was the worst part. So I just had to get my. I wish I had a hood back then. I would just get my hood. Up. That's the uh, yeah. same Brennan hoodies. I, I'm not wearing those. I'm not wearing that trash. Those were fucking nice. No, they weren't. Every Friday, I'd wear that shit all day. Oh, you're talking about those things? Yeah, of course, those are nice. But you can't wear. First of all, you can't wear a hood up. Second of all, I'm talking about those red ones that everyone can wear. Oh yeah, those things are. Bad. The the for the for the black hoodies you could just put your hood up like this and he didn't care. Really? He only cared if your hood was like this. Oh jeez. Can't really oh, geez. can't really see. Yeah. But, um honestly I just I just realized like a meme like for the Spanish teacher when she like sings the try everything song. Thirty five years old. Still <laughs> listens to <laughs> fucking kids bop. bop. I don't know how old she was. Probably she was like in her thirties or something. Honestly, Senora Wang was better. <laughs> Senora Wang was better because at least she, she taught the class. Not that well, care. but she she like showed what the words meant. She no, wrote she words did. on the board. She, all she would talk in was Spanish. I'm like, bitch, like, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? I don't. You know didn't what teach us what this means. That's what both of them did. But at least like she's like she, she, she had, had a structure. Like, she had a structure. She would she, she would some she words. would do verbs for like two months. <laughs> And then the eighth grade one, she was just like, "Oh, we're writing something on the board. Oh, what is this? Oh, just kidding. We're watching a video." Mister, F- no, it wasn't even on Fridays that the class was. Mister fucking Lopez moved it to Tuesday, because she he thought like, "Okay, we don't have a lot of Fridays and we don't have a lot of Mondays, so I want you guys to get as much Spanish as possible." So Spanish didn't even to- help me. I know the only words I knew were because, fucking like "ola" and shit. I, I remember La Casa and that's house because uh, she the. Spanish year taught us like three years in a row, and I had it in my notebook, and I still remember drawing me a house, drawing a house, and that's it. Honestly, just, God, I hated Spanish with all of my heart. Honestly. They made my Fridays a whole lot worse. Tuesday. No, it was, Fucking it was, Tuesday. Mo- it was mostly Fridays, because he really? changed, I don't think he even changed it to Tuesday. He did, he fucking did. Well, I just remember... Fridays were the worst. Okay, guys, I think we're done about uh, ranting for now. So, we will hopefully post this. We'll notify you guys on Snapchat. We'll make a channel. 
we'll probably call it SB Pod, the SB, the SB, SB Podcast, SB Podcast, and um, and we're maybe we'll have something in the background. We'll have a nice little drawing, a nice little video. I don't know. We'll maybe some guests next time around. How are how about we? I think uh, we're thinking of one guest. Oh, we're probably we might ask him tomorrow. Our and ideal Harper. guest. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> hopefully they can join us, and if they do, uh, then that's good. What we're thinking I, about putting these out every Friday or Saturday. If we well, we have to Facetime each other as well, yeah. or call each other. All right, wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching the SB podcast. This was our first episode. It was an introduction episode. To all of our shenanigans. Hopefully we'll have a new guest on by tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Say goodbye, James. Later. Bye.